so we have all met someone who works in IT that should certainly not work in IT this is their story. I got hired by my dad to do IT. I know very little about IT besides games. These are my IT stories. Be me first day woman asks me if I can install the latest version of Adobe Reader. Fuck yeah I got this. Down low like a boss. Wow you are like a computer expert. Well you know. Ask to input admin credentials. Forgot admin password. Nope.jpg. A uh, mermo oh crap something's going on with the server be right back. Three months later she still doesn't have Adobe Reader. Be day 2. Angry guy is on the phone asking me about some weird in-house program. Have no idea what the fuck he is saying. There's a pause. He's waiting for an answer. Think back to the IT crowd. Have you tried turning it on and off again? Like restarting. Give me a sec. It fucking worked. B day 3. Hot sales rep comes in with laptop issues. She's 9 out of 10 Kuga. All flirty with me. Tells me she needs something updated. Can only hear her boobs. Her laptop smells like strawberry. Download a Debbie reader for her and hand it back. Day 4. Figure out how to turn off the servers. When people start asking me for help, go into server room. Turn off servers. Come out to oblivious and start downloading a Debbie reader. Eventually people start screaming. The site's down, the site's down. I'm on it. Run back to the server room, play Hotline Miami in the back for a few hours. Turn servers back on near end of day. Come out of server room. Wipe brow from face. I did it. People are singing my praises saying I saved the day. Really just saved the girlfriend and Hotline Miami. Day 5 run into cougar at coffee machine. Ask her how things are going. Just a general statement. Instantly thinks I am talking about shop. Starts telling me all the shit wrong with her computer. She doesn't see me as a human. She sees me as IT. Tell her to drop off her laptop. She does. I upgrade her internet explore. Download a Debbie reader. Restart the machine. Everything fucking working. Run it back to her. Fix my hair. Check my breath. Act like I saved the day. She's in her office on the phone. She motions to put on her desk. I do. Kind of linger. Is that everything hun? Leave here her say oh it was just IT. Just IT. That's all I am now. Day 6. Really bored. Decide to download a Game Boy emulator and play Pokemon. The web filter's blocking it so I turn off the whole thing I don't just whitelist it I turn it all off. Get emulator site but now I need to turn off the antivirus. Use the admin which I now know to it. End up turning off the whole antivirus settings on the server. Download my emulator and ROM. Play my game. Guy comes into my office. I think I caught a virus. Me I- By the time I am facing Misty 4 people have viruses. Day 7. Same guy that was yelling at me day 2 is yelling at me. He can't remotely log in just as I am about to leave to go home. Try turning it off then on again then call me back. Go home. Day 8. Guy call from day 7 calls back. He is pissed. Tells me he lost a client because of my stupidity. Shit happens man. I lost to Team Rocket like 10 minutes ago. What the fuck are you talking about? Click. Day 9. One of the printers is out of toner. Some fat guy tells me to change it. It's a toner man can't you change it. I'm working on this huge issue with the server. Was really downloading steam. It will take a second. God I have much more important stuff to do. That's why you are here. Sigh and go do it. Can't figure out how to fucking open fucking cartridge door. Start hitting it like they do in Zoolander. Tell the poor mentally challenged guy in the mail room I have a special job for him. He has to hide the magic egg in the chest of Hewlett Packard. Go back to my server business. Half an hour later the fat guy comes into my office. What the fuck did you do to the printer? Change the toner. He just starts shaking his head and muttering shit. We walk over to it. The mail room guy jammed the cartridge in the wrong way and actually lodged it in there so half of it was sticking out. The door can't even close. There's black hand prints all over the printer too. Can feel the guy judging me so I spew bullshit. Looks to be a problem with the network. The printer was down for over a month before I figured out we have a printer guy on call. Day 10. Have to set up projector in the boardroom. Can't find a Thunderbolt HDMI cable to hook it up to lazy to go to the store. Don't even have a corporate card either. Tell the people needing the projector there's a compatibility issue with MacBooks. They use some guy's Dell book. The files from the Mac end up not running on the Dell book. Call me in mid-meeting. All these business people staring at me as I am randomly clicking folders as fast as possible to look like I am pro. Download a Debbie reader. Double click files. Works. Thanks Anon you save the day. 
since day 11. There's a new hire. No one fucking told me anything. Get screamed at that there's no computer for this person. Go in back to see if we have any spares. There's a few. But there's also some really old PCs from like the early 90s. Boot it up. Works. Set up new person. Everything lags. You open a Debbie reader. Massive fucking lag. Send out computer. It's the best we got on short notice. Get like 40 SharePoint tickets the first day from that person. He's a real stickler for help. He ends up quitting the very next week saying he can't work under these conditions. Day 12. Someone's computer crashed. Fuck. Set up computer. Remember something about profiles being saved on the network. Go back to the server room. Look at the server rack like a total idiot as I try and figure out in my head how this works. Tell the guy all his data is lost and there's nothing I can do about it. Boo boo but my project. I have to present that to the board on Friday. Gone man it's gone. Play sim theme park the rest of the day. Day 13. Roll up to work an hour late. Whole office is in chaos. Full of roam.jpg. He's here. Go into my office open up mail. Dozens of emails like. Hey there's something wrong with the server I can't log into. Any idea why the site is down I. The server is actually down. A Adobe reader can't save me now. Just go back there and do what you did last time. Everyone thinks it's an easy solves. Literally shaking in the server room because I don't know what to do. Nap in server room for entire day. People are pissed can hear them banging on server door. We've missed out deadlines. Leave at 6.30pm. The CFO sees me in the parking lot. He's been in a beating all day doesn't know about my struggles. You. Re still here. That's the kind of can do attitude I like to see. Day 14. Server is still down. My dad's asking questions. Everyone is pissed. Take my early lunch. Over here some guys at the restaurant talking about buying a new modem for the office. <laughs> Hey sorry to bother you during your lunch but would either of you happen to be in IT before either of them could read me the right act and tell me something like how the fuck dare I. I'm an IT too. I show them my hand that I scratched up crawling wires on the floor. They nod. What would you try doing if your server is completely fucked? Have you tried restarting it? I go back and restart the physical machine it fucking works. Day 15. Hot cougar walks by office looking distressed. Everything okay? Oh good I can't log into my emails can you please help please? I got you. Get her laptop. Reinstall Microsoft Office Outlook works again. Poke through her emails to make sure things are working. Send a test file. Read the title of her latest emails. Divorce. Hand back her laptop. Looks like it's working now. Thanks. Everything okay? Well, this is fucking it. Tell me your sub stories cougar woman and then it's on. My mouse is acting a bit funny can I get a new one? Day 60. One of the mailroom guy's monitor isn't working. It's coming up all green. Backstory there been a huge misappropriation of funds because I game give dual monitors just because he's mentally challenged and I figured if anyone needs two screens it's him. All he does is look at MSN slideshows and use the FedEx web app or something. He's a nice guy so I actually try and fix it for him. Nothing's working. Think it's a driver issue. Think it's a settings issue. Think it's an actually hardware issue. Whole time people are coming to me with real problems but I keep saying I'll be there in a minute. After 2 hours the mailroom guy goes. Maybe the puggish boke. I swapped out the HDMI cable with a brand new one. It worked I officially am less adept at my job than a poor mentally challenged guy. Day 70. Nice old woman who talks to me about sports tells me her keyboard is shit. She's oldest person in the office by far. Old as dirt. Tell her I have just the thing. Go in the back and unbox a brand new keyboard meant for programmers. Bring it to the old woman. You're such a helpful young man. Reach down awkwardly to plug in the new keyboard. Get back up and dust pants off. Old lady looks like she's having a heart attack. Look at the screen it's fucking blank. On my way back up my feet hit the power button. She lost 3 hours of work. 3 hours that old woman will never see again. Day 19. Company meeting. We're over budget. There has been ridiculous spending. We've lost money for almost a month. Day 18. Almost a month. They are going to out me. IT budget comes up in discussion. We're one of two departments that are coming under budget. Great job Ban and I heard about the server issue here you're the man. At the end of the meeting a 45 year old events planner asks if I fix computers on the side. Not really. Oh I have this one blasted thing that needs fixing you couldn't just come over and fix it. Bullshit. For a laugh I say yeah it's cool just give me your address and I'll be over after work. Not sure if I'm getting sex by condoms. She's not even hot 6 out of 10 tops. Not even going to like. Last call kind of hot. Arrive at her house. 
Ring the doorbell while standing all suave leaning up against the door. Her husband answers the door. Show me the computer install latest version of Adobe Reader. Get $20. Go home. Day 90. Some guy crashes a program so I have to re-input the settings. Go onto his cubicle mate's computer. Check settings. Two hours later you reeked my computer. I want my fucking computer back exactly how it was. I don't know what you did but something's off. My USB drive is buzzing. What the fuck? I didn't do shit to your computer I checked a program you open 20 times a day. Super pissed so I go back into the server room and play Thomas was alone. Here knock on server room door. It's the cubicle mate. Hey thanks for fixing it. Fixing what? The USB drive. I didn't do shit lol. Oh yeah don't mention it. Day 20. Spend entire day cleaning the server room up. Getting it all nice. Just unplugging network cables willy nilly so I can color coordinate them. People are losing their shit they are randomly getting kicked off. Tell people there are some issues without internet service provider. I make sure to say ISP as I have now leaned by speaking in abbreviations no matter how common makes you sound techy. By the end of the day the server rack is all classy looking. Unfortunately I never mapped anything and a handful of people can't connect because their ports aren't connected to anything. Tell them the ISP will have it done a SOP and go home. Hope you guys have enjoyed be sure to check out part 2.